A man serving a life sentence for a 2007 murder in New Orleans has always maintained his innocence, and his attorneys are now appealing his conviction, saying there was evidence that pointed to another man as the killer, but the DA's office withheld that information from defense attorneys. Investigative reporter Mike Pearlston has the story. Attorneys at the Innocence Project New Orleans have filed appeals based on DNA discoveries, recantations, and evidence hidden by prosecutors. In his petition filed Monday on behalf of Colley Smith, if no attorney Richard Davis says he has all of those things. No, we have all kinds of elements to work with on this case. There's, I would never say an embarrassment of riches because the man is in prison doing his life sentence. You can't have too much evidence. The 48-year-old Smith has been locked up for murder since 2007 in a fatal shooting on the street with a single eyewitness from the neighborhood. He was convicted in 2010 by a non-unanimous jury verdict, something that has since been ruled unconstitutional. This 57-page petition states that not only has the eyewitness recanted, but she was paid thousands of dollars in rent benefits by the DA's office, something that's not necessarily illegal, but was kept secret until recently. That witness has now twice signed recantations of her testimony, and there is also evidence of the benefit she was receiving from the district attorney's office. The appeal also cites newly obtained DNA evidence from the shirt of the murder victim that excludes Smith as the killer. We know that this is an innocent person in prison today as we stand here serving his sentence based on this unconstitutional conviction. At the end of Smith's petition, the Innocence Project New Orleans requests that this conviction be thrown out. That puts the ball squarely in the district attorney's court to respond. Mike Perlstein, Eyewitness News. And in an emailed statement, the DA's office said the Innocence Project's assertions remain unproven, but as with all post-conviction petitions, the office will examine the claims carefully and respond in court.